All right, today we're working on a 87 Goldwing Interstate or Escapade, probably the same choke cable. How to replace it? Okay, so the gas tank cover needs to be removed. The seats was fine. You need to remove the gas tank cover. Remove the fuse box thing in here and the holder the air filter and the air filter box which is here those needs to be removed uh, and while you're doing this you can do you can flush your radiator fluid because you're gonna be in it <laughs> um, the radiator cap goes up here this needs to be removed to get to this all right, so it's freaking hard to get to the choke cable. You'll have to remove the radiator, have a bowl to catch the radiator fluid, uh, open up the thermostat housing. This is the thermostat housing, it goes under there. Now we're under the bike now. It's the front of the bike. We're going under the bike. Oh, you gotta back up the motor a little bit because you'll have to remove the bolt that holds the motor mount basically it's a motor mount because it goes in here and this is connected to your motor which is like a motor bracket so remove that the reason why you're doing that because this cover right here that needs to be able to because it's back here it needs to be able to push back so you can get in there. Now, I don't know. This is the cable. It goes up here to the throttle, to the handle. Goes back under the bike in front. So this is how I did it. I connect the new cable with the old cable, taped it, and then I pulled it in together. Pulled the old cable, and that way it'll be in the same route as the old cable was. Now, the throttle cable. As you can see it goes all the way back there but then the connectors are in there I don't know if you can see it let me see if I can oh right there okay so right there come on get a clear picture right there that's the end of your choke cable it connects there and can't really see it but that's where the little ball connects to in front of that back there you'll be able to squeeze your hand in there just like this and manually disconnect that old one and reconnect the new one and run it back the way the old cable is by pulling it with the new cable you'll be able to have it in the same route as the new one so that took me about an hour to remove all this crap off. And, um, yeah. And the hardest thing to do is putting everything back together. Make sure you don't leave no screws behind. Or make sure all your coolant, your uh, thermostat housing is tight in there so it won't leak. Check for radiator leaks. Um, yeah, and for you guys who don't know about Odyssey battery, that's what I suggest for anybody who owns a car or a motorcycle. They last long and they're pretty good battery. You can lean them to others, whatever way you want to lean the battery to make it fit. It's a great battery. All right, so that's how you change the uh, the choke cable. And the reason why I changed the choke cable is because oh the choke cable and right there see it it's all ribbled and it's about to break off. So I'm about to sell the bike so I figured I'd change that for the new owner. I didn't know it was gonna be this hard. I would have just sold it as is. And since I already got it there. I don't want to sell them and then they have to get that fixed. Alright, thank you for watching.